Maharashtra Assembly election took place on 21st October and result is going to be out very soon. Uh, we have with us uh, Chief Electoral Officer of Maharashtra, Baldev Singh Ji, uh, for, uh, to talk about counting preparation. Sir, uh, my first question uh, to you, what are the major uh, preparation is going on for counting centers, safety and uh, transparency? Uh, we have set up 288 counting centers in the 288 assemblies and uh, all the preparedness has been done and uh, uh, there will be a returning officer and an independent observer appointed by the uh, Election Commission of India who will be present. And in addition to that, uh, the polling agents appointed by each candidate will be there. So it will bring the transparency which is required and we will deliver free and fair uh, results. And more than 10,000 counting staff is already properly trained and uh, they are deployed after doing the randomization. And uh, therefore, it's totally transparent, neutral, free and fair. Sir, uh what are the steps uh, taken to uh, ensure uh, security arrangement, uh, particularly in Nexal affected areas and uh, uh, another, uh, uh, some other booths? Uh, all uh, counting centers, which also have strong rooms that are joining the counting center, have been provided by the security as per the security protocol, which is 3 tier security which include paramilitary forces, which include uh, state reserve police, and which also include the local uh, police. So they will be there, and it will be three-tier security, and uh, uh, there will be no issue so far the security of any counting center is concerned, and it will be totally free and fair. Sir, my last question to you, of at what time we can expect a uh, clear uh, picture of the uh, result? Each uh, uh, assembly constituency will have different round depending upon the polling stations they had. And uh, the ones which have lesser number of polling stations will naturally deliver the results faster. But in any case, I think by 11, 11.30 you will get the clear trends. However, since we have to do the BB count as per the guidelines of the uh, Election Commission of India as well as the Honorable Supreme Court, so uh, final result, they have to be declared only after the BB count is uh, done and uh, everybody is satisfied who is there. It may be the candidate, it will be their agents, counting agents, and it will be the uh, observer who is appointed by Election Commission of India. So after that, the final results will be declared. So uh, you can't make a guess, but as I said, the assembly constituency which have lesser number of polling station will have lesser number of rounds and you will see the faster results there. Sir, thanks for talking with us. Uh, with camera person Sudhir Kumar and colleague Riyasat, Navikram Singh, Rajya Sabha TV, Mumbai.